Hi, I'm Imogen from Waffle TV, sponsored by West Beer, and I'm here with Comedy Sketch Group. The, that pair, sorry, that pair. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Yeah, we're good. good. Yeah. 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 Our skate has not long been up. Yeah. Just do this. Just do this. Sexy voice. <laughs> That's what we call it. Sexy voice. <laughs> sexy voice. Yeah. How's, how are your shows going so far? Yeah, good. We've had some, we've had some nice audiences, haven't we? And they've been so really far. lovely and really helpful in these first few days. Yeah. Just swimming out. Really what's going on and yeah up for it so yeah, up for it can't that's very good that. yeah. yeah so can you tell me a little bit about your show yeah. our show <laughs> is um, a combination of sketchy songs and characters. us as a duo yeah character yeah. skits um, and it, this year it's based uh, we're hosting a memorial concert for our dead manager who's died in a hula hooping accident and um, really tragic um, you never know how you're going to go <laughs> and um, we, yeah, we're hosting um, the other acts, so um, some other acts come and perform, which is us. And um, they come and pay homage and they come and pay their respects to, to Leanne. And, um, and then various other things happen along the way, things that we've organised that we think would be a good idea for a memorial concert. Do not really taste fish. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, and then yeah, there's a series of unfortunate events. Then you have to come on. Yeah. <laughs> so, how many different characters do you play throughout your show? I guess there's about between eight and ten set pieces. Lots of duos. Yeah, yeah. lots of different duos <laughs> come to perform. Um, so, yeah, there's a selection of songs, like five or six songs. Yeah, there's a few then, bands, and then there's a few sort of solo yeah. scenes that we do. So, yeah. quite, quite a few characters. Do you have a favourite duo that you, when it comes up to it in the show, you're like, I am, yeah, there's kind of, we do a bit of a folk parody of sort of mum beans and sons, Louis style. <laughs> yeah, they're brilliant. That seems to go down well, doesn't what? it? And we enjoy playing the bloke. It's slightly like, sort of righteous, yeah. you know, and yeah. guys just love my music, it's so great, stamp your feet, clear your head, you know. And then, <laughs> yeah, can we enjoy playing them? Yeah. 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 How do you come up with your characters? Is it kind of like brainstorming, or do they just come to you? Yeah. Or is it what <laughs> you can do? <laughs> It's various things, I and mean, sometimes we decide we want to parody something like, oh, it would be really funny to do a song that takes the lick out of that. Or it's just an idea that we come up yeah, with. Yeah, little scraps it's of writing. It's quite nice when we're yeah. the two solo bits that we do, we've written for each other. Um, oh, not specifically, nice. but it's ended yeah. up being that that's the way it's worked out, and you sort of give that writing a bit more respect, and you're like, oh, this is really funny. Whereas if you'd written it yourself, You'd be changing yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. So that's so, really quite nice. Yeah. And they come from little scraps like our families were both from Essex and I think we've got a kind of shared sort of language so and the shared thing that we find funny. Yeah. So if we do see people not taking the cat people, but if we do see people that we find funny we sort of try and elaborate on them and make them yeah. even more people. <laughs> <Aww. laughs> yeah. So how did you two get together and meet the thing? We met at a place called Bretton Hall, which is part of the University of Leeds. Um, it's an acting BA, and there was lots of sort of clowning and experimental theatre and sort of yeah, physical yeah. theatre, which yeah. we both had a bash at, but um, <laughs> ended up just being comedic. Yeah. Okay, well, <laughs> but it ended up being very silly, didn't it? That. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's how we met, and then both of us went to work for other theatre companies. Um, which was cool, and then came back together and started to write something. We didn't know that it was going to be comedy, and um, it's just kind of how it evolved. And it still might not be comedy, that's for the audience to decide. <laughs> yeah. But that's kind of what we picture yeah, as to do. Yeah. 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 So did you originally go to university wanting to be actors, and then the comedy just happened, you just found out you were really funny? Well, yeah, kind of, yeah, we both, <laughs> we both, we both set out as many actresses, essentially, didn't we? I mean, I didn't really know what I wanted to do, but um, obviously did an acting course just to see what happened. And I think, I think when you're not that driven towards sort of doing one thing, you're open to other things happening, mm -hmm. so that kind of happened sure, a bit more naturally. I just kind of responded to that. I mean, it wasn't a straight acting course, it was definitely create your own work. Um, Here's the field, here's the Westminster yeah. sculpture part, go and create something in there. So it's quite sort of experimental. Mm. So it wasn't uh, you know, you're gonna come out and then you're gonna be yeah, it in Hollywood. Move. Yeah, exactly. A lot of people came out of Bretton Hall and started making their own work and have done quite diverse things. So yeah, yeah we're probably the uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah. our tutor said, oh, do we have to take you too seriously now? So, <laughs> I'm not sure if he's embarrassed or What's it like having your old tutors coming to see your shows? Actually our old tutors saw us perform at a wedding, um, which is quite good. Yeah, weird. one of our you friends from uni 
Well, yeah. <laughs> it was desperate different. times. <laughs> that was our friend's wedding. Our oh, friend right. from uni got married and she asked us to do a song. So we did a few of our songs, didn't we? And then we did a bespoke song about her and her husband. Oh, wow. And then our tutors obviously there because they'd remained friends. So it's actually really nice. That sounds yeah. amazing. Really nice. Yeah. Kind of see where you see where you got yeah. to. Yeah. Yeah. Were you like take, taking the mick out of them a little bit in your? In a little sketchy type way? Yeah. What well, happened in the song? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, they the met time. in a restaurant and it was all about them kind of being wait a waiter and a waitress and sort of doing inappropriate things. Yeah. So we kind of <laughs> adapted, we adapted a song we had already, which was called Get a Room, which just kind of <laughs> That is amazing. And that would be such a good audience as well. Yeah, they were amazing. Yeah, they were yeah. totally. They were just wasted. By wasted. And we were shop, kind of stone of cold sober. Because we were like, we've got to perform, <laughs> so we can't drink. <laughs> Um, so what are your plans for the future after this year's Fringe? Do you have any yet? Or just playing it by year? Just playing it by year. We'll yeah. see what happens. Yeah. I think we'd really like to film some stuff mm -hmm. after this. Yeah. Um, obviously Edinburgh was great for generating sort of live material. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then it might be nice to see what's worked and go away and shoot some sketches. We've got a music video idea that we really want to do. Yeah. We shot one of our sketches, our key fit video, which you can get on YouTube. Um, and so I think we'd really like to do that. There's yeah. lots of things it sort of opened up in the last year's <laughs> opened up lots of possibilities. So, yeah. And we'd really like to do um, a journal of the show as well. And then we've also got some other sort of sitcomy ideas and other things that we want to kind of explore. So, yeah. Yeah. wow, really exciting. All those ideas in the pipeline. Yeah. Great. Thank you so much for talking to me. Um, where can we catch our show? And um, so we're at the Gisatonic Caves at 3 40 every single day, not the 30s. <laughs> um, until, until the 23rd. So come, come visit us in our cave, the wee room it's called. Great, thank you so much. <laughs> thank, thank you so for having you. us.